It's Friday night, and uh, this is what I do on Friday nights now. Cheers. We uh, just got Ava put down, so uh, I had some time to come up and record something. Actually, uh, before we get going, I um, just want to let you guys know, you can find us all over social media. So it's facebook.com front slash the Bob and Liz show. It is instagram.com front slash the Bob and Liz show. It is patreon.com front slash the Bob and Liz show, but it is only Bob and Liz show.com. Uh, head over, check us out. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, please subscribe and please click the notification button. We actually got our custom YouTube URL, which is youtube.com front slash C front slash The Bob and Liz Show. All right. So today I wanted to talk about um, the top three things I have learned since I started making uh, content. So that uh, includes all the way back to when I was making podcasts. That includes... Um, when we started out on uh, YouTube, which was just to supplement the podcast. Our whole primary focus back then was podcast, and YouTube was just another way to get people to listen to the podcast. And I started to branch out into video, and then video took over, and uh, we wound up ditching the podcast. So here we are several years later, several lessons learned, and I want to preface this by saying I am not claiming to be the best YouTuber in the world. I am not claiming to be the best uh, audio video person in the world. These are just personal things that I learned along the way that I wish I had known when I started because it could have made life a whole lot easier. All this is assuming you want to have a uh, in-place setup, a studio somewhere. There is a mobile setup I use for vlogging and things like that, which I will go over in a later episode. But this one right here is assuming you want to do a, uh, a studio style setup. So number one, don't buy cheap audio gear. Now you can get inexpensive gear um, that sounds good, but cheap gear, I mean, uh, I think the first two microphones I got were like $12 USB mics off Amazon and they sounded terrible. My cell phone sounded better than both of those microphones. Um, I guess the lesson here that I learned was you can go a whole lot further with your cell phone than you want to admit because gear sounds appealing. So let's start with what you can do with your cell phone. What I would recommend, or if I could do this over again, what I would do, I'd buy an inexpensive tripod, a cell phone rig, which is this like handheld cell phone thing. Look down in our uh, description and I'll link to this stuff. Handheld cell phone rig and you can put a shotgun mic on top of that. Tripod, shotgun mic, cell phone rig. You can get all that stuff for, for relatively inexpensive. With that, we still use that setup a lot of times. You can go really, really far with that setup, uh, much further than you want to think it can because it's not quite as appealing or it's not quite as, um, gear is fun, which is fine, but looking back, I would have st uh, stayed with that cell phone rig for a whole lot longer. So really, I think what you should do is you should save up for a decent soundboard, a decent microphone, and that's of course assuming you're doing a uh, at-home setup like this, like a, almost like a studio. So uh, another good thing I use as a backup um, nowadays, which would work in the beginning if you want to forego the uh, microphone, mic stand, and soundboard, is the Zoom H1N. You would not believe how many times I forgot to hit a button, the sound wasn't what I thought it was, something came up where I had to use the Zoom's audio as my backup audio. So just to recap, number one was, stick with your cell phone for as long as you can. If you have to, buy a tripod, buy a cell phone rig, buy a shotgun mic. You'll be able to get quite a bit done with just that. Save, get a decent microphone, get an entry level Shure microphone, um, a, a two or three or a two or four XLR audio board, and uh, um, when you can afford that, that's the next step to take. Skip the inexpensive USB mics. Um, skip the uh, inexpensive XLR mics. I think right now you can buy like a, a kit with some cheap, uh, cheap arms and uh, some cheap microphones on uh, Amazon for relatively inexpensive. Just wait, stick with your cell phone, stick with your shotgun mic, stick with your uh, uh, a cell phone rig and tripod until you can bump up to uh, some decent, uh, decent audio gear. So number two, this is a big one. Whenever you can afford to do so, buy good editing software. Part of my big challenge in the beginning was finding time to edit 
all the audio and video I'd record. And when you're using the free stuff, it just, it's, it's tedious, it's monotonous. And uh, there are times I just wanted to throw my computer through the wall and walk out. Um, it, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, personally for me, I, I use Adobe software. When I got the Adobe software, it was a thousand pounds lifted off of me. It's so much easier. It's so much faster. It's so much uh, just better in so many ways. I can't even begin to tell you the difference that it has made. Um, I bought, uh, I do Adobe Creative Cloud and I just pay for whatever the, uh, the package that gives me all the software is. And uh, it's a monthly fee. Um, it is, a, it is an investment, it is a cost, but you gotta ask yourself, what is your time worth? And when and if that becomes possible for you, it is a, uh, a step that is worth taking. Um, I wish I would've done it sooner. Number three. So this one really is, you're gonna have content that you're not um, in love with. You're gonna have content that you don't, uh, that you're not satisfied with. You're gonna feel like you have content that doesn't reach the standard that you want. Now that standard for me isn't really attainable. Um, I cannot go out and get all the gear that I want and I cannot go, uh, so I cannot make the video and audio look and sound the way I want it to. Now, I have to deal with that. I have to keep putting out content. Every video I put out makes me better. Now you can go back one, two, three videos ago on mine and, and find stuff that just does not look that good. But then I had some shining moments as well where I just got all the uh, uh, gear working right that night. And my goal is to have more and more of those moments. I've put out hours and hours and hours of content at this point and most of which don't live up to a standard that, uh, that I'm trying to achieve. Don't let that stop you from putting out content. Um, every time you do it, it makes you better. And um, um, I just got to keep going. I got to keep plugging away. And I hope all you guys do too. Um, one of the beautiful things about the, the age that we're living in is we get to be creative and we get to do things. Um, um, I'm going to film this video, edit this video, and put it up within, you know, probably 48 hours or so, you know, but it's still getting put out there. And, um, um, you know, hopefully it can make that audience grow every time I do. Um, you know, another thing I, I can recommend is everyone focuses on YouTube and I mean, that's, that's a big focus of ours here, um, at the Bob and Liz show, but, um, also count those Instagram views and count those Facebook views, you know, eyes on, um, what we're putting out is the ultimate goal for me. So, uh, the more people that see it, the, the better it is. And, um, I would like all of those to come from YouTube. But the fact is, uh, um, I have a schedule to where about a week after I make a video and release it on YouTube, then it goes on Instagram and then it goes on Facebook. And um, hopefully those people uh, migrate over. So uh, um, the final recommendation is just keep putting out content. Keep doing it. Keep getting better. Uh, um, keep raising the, the, the standard of video you're trying to put out. And uh, hopefully we'll all be there one day with uh, a gajillion subscribers and awesome YouTube channels. So uh, anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate you uh, um, watching this. Um, if you uh, haven't already, um, like I said in the beginning, please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Um, find us all over social media, um, The Bob and Liz Show. Just throw The Bob and Liz Show on the end of every URL and you will probably run into us. Thank you again and uh, catch you next time.